Welcome to D-Labs Tech Tips. And today I'm gonna to show you how to add a power indicator lamp to a Tektronix 2213 scope. Here we go. So I recently inherited this Tektronix 2213 scope from a friend. It belonged to his dad. He was the original owner. They passed it down to me to use and feature in upcoming videos. So I thought, how cool is that, right? So I did the initial checkout, cleaned the switches, everything was cool. And then I walked away and I forgot to turn it off. And normally when I leave the shop, I like peek in here and say, did I leave anything on? Nothing was on, but I forgot. This scope didn't have a power light. So it was on and the thing sat there all night percolating, right? I thought, why would Tektronix do that? So if you look at the model 2213A, I'll show you a picture of that one. It has a power lamp. I thought, well, what's the deal with the 2213? Come on, Tektronix, did you save yourself like a nickel not putting it on the scope? So I thought, well, I have to have a power indicator. So let me show you what I did. So here is my 2213. If you look at the A model, there is a power indicator lamp right here by the power switch but this one didn't have one at all. Now you can see over here, now it does, okay? What I did is I took one of these little green five millimeter LEDs and I found that there was holes behind this panel. So let me grab my light and I'll show you this. See those little squares? So this chassis had options, right? That weren't put on the scope. So I went over here and I saw that there was a hole right there and I thought, well, that's a cool location for a lamp. So I drilled out the plastic and brought the LED in from the back. So there's the mounted LED and the little plastic holder assembly. We'll swing around the back. And I pretty much just glued the rear of the LED in, okay, after opening up the plastic on the front swung down a two conductor cable and down here on the board you'll see that the power supplies are identified there's a plus 30 a plus 8.6 here is a plus 5 that's where I tagged on so the, between the 8.6 and the 5 there's a ground runner so there's my negative lead I went through a 100 ohm resistor to the positive lead and now I have a functioning indicator lamp on the power zone. So how does she look? Well, kick her on. And there it is. Whammo bammo. Looks pretty stock if you ask me. So without the power LED, you have to rely on the nomenclature on top of that switch that says off. Couldn't deal with that. So now I've got a power light on my 2213. Yes, it was a very simple update to the Tektronix 2213, but it is necessary so you don't leave the power on. If you guys want to do this update to your model 2213, not the A, and you need the little LED and little plastic bezel, let me know. I'll throw one in the mail and send it to you. Thanks for tuning in.